What's up guys? Obviously you guys know how to do the solo RP glitch um, but I will run through it for any of you guys that are new to this glitch but before we get into anything a quick word from today's sponsor. Are you guys looking for money and RP services in GTA Online? If you are check out the links down below DigiZanny and DGZ Gold. You can also use code SG to get 5% off. Let's get it. So here we go. Um, so I will run for it, um, but this one is, you can basically get more RP out of this, doing it this way. This is the shark card way. Um, so as we know, we need to call Franklin to requ request a payphone hit. If you're struggling to get payphone hits, there is a video on my channel. Uh, it's a recent one that you guys can check out to help you out with that. And check out the pinned comment as well on that video. Um, so you can use this location as the target during the mission is in this area. So you're better off using this location. And then you're going to obviously request a payphone. Now this is not the mission we need. So that's CEO. We don't want that. So we go to creator. And once we are in creator, I'll skip ahead a little bit. And um, once we are in creator, we then just simply press pause, go to online, go into a new invite only session. And you can just, that basically just bypasses the time for the payphone hits because there is a cooldown between doing the missions. But that is how you bypass it. And there you go, we can now request another one. So you just do that until you get the mission pop star. And speaking of that, there we go. This is the pop star mission. So right away, you want to get your interaction menu out to stop the timer of the mission starting. And we're going to get into the car. Now from here, you're going to request your MOC and then get your interaction menu out again. Now you're going to head over to your uh, MOC and yeah, I will meet you guys over there. So you're going to get into your MOC and you're going to drop your interaction menu, hold right on the D-pad and then bring your interaction menu back up. That is to detach the trailer from your MOC. So from here, um, we just basically we drop the interaction menu and we let the mission start and then we head to the target. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we'll just wait in a few seconds. It will start when this screen changes there we go so we're just going to head towards him now and yeah we're going to just pinpoint it again for you guys and we're going to show you the shark card way so i'm going to skip ahead and there we go so we always want to be on the left side and gradually guide him into the wall and we just simply want to get out and we want to get into his car to kick him out of his car and then we want to get back into our MOC. So there we go. So be careful when reversing. Um, try not to kill him. You may knock him down, but just don't kill him. I mean, that's that's okay to do that. And now we want to get inside the MOC. Now, I'm seeing people, you know, it does happen. We do accidentally kill him sometimes. But you just got to be just careful. Just knock him down one time. And then slowly, gradually drive over him. But not his head. If he gets... Like, you know, you, you, if you drive over his head, he's, he's going to die. I couldn't get my words out then, sorry. <laughs> um, so there we go, look, boom. So I'm making sure I'm not getting his head. And just simply going to sit on top of him in, like, the middle of his body. And boom, there we go. So we're ranking up one rank every, like, three seconds. Maybe five seconds. There we go, five seconds. Boom. So, perfect. So we've got 12 minutes to go. So that is, I mean, that is a while. So you can rank up a lot just doing it this way and letting the timer run out. Um, but there is a way where you can get more RP even when the timer has run out. And that's what we're going to go through right now. Now, I do apologize, guys. But I forgot to record the part on the shark cards. But just pretend right now you're still in the MOC. You're going to wait till there's 30 seconds left on the timer of the mission. You're going to get your interaction menu up. And you are going to kill yourself. And, and we're still in the MOC right now. And we press pause, go to Xbox Store, and open up Shark Cards. Uh, PlayStation, you just press pause, go to online, then go down to sh down to purchase Shark Cards. Um, on Xbox, we can do it this way a little bit quicker. And you just scroll through the, the Shark Cards. Now, depending on how long you 
do this, the more RP you'll get when you come off of this menu. So if you've done this AFK for an hour, you're going to get tons more RP when you when you come out of the shark cards. Now I only did it for like a minute there, and as you see, look at my rank. And this is after the mission has finished. Now if you did that in the shark card store, you put sank around your left analog stick to keep it going up and down so you can go AFK. If you did it for like two hours, you're going to rank up ridiculously. So the more you do it, the more. But I wouldn't suggest going too high of a rank, depending on what your rank is was from the start. You know, you don't want to bait yourself out a little bit. Just, you know, be be careful with this type of glitch. You know, I, I do believe we'll be fine. You know, no money's involved. We can't buy RP off the store. I don't think a reset or ban will happen. Um, but it's Rockstar. I guess they could do if they really wanted to, but... RP don't mean much after 120 anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.